Hello and welcome. My name is Pavel. I'm the Atos platform expert, and I will lead you through today's webinar, which is the overview of the Atos platform functionality. We will be talking about the online sources of the information, how to install the platform, how to open the first chart, how to adjust the advanced features, and how to use the settings tab. This webinar is focused on a newcomers, but I'm pretty sure that even the advanced traders will find something interesting and useful. So let's get started. The most important piece of the information is certainly our website. You can find us at www.atas.net. You can download the platform from here. You can use our blog, which is really useful because we publish approximately two or three articles a month. The latest one, for example, is about the wave analysis, about the Elliott waves. So it's really useful for those who are interested in uh, this topic. And also we have a knowledge base here on the resources and support center where you can find really useful advice in case you just starting, if you want to connect to the rhythmic data source and other things. When I get back, I need to register first. So if you click here at registration, you enter your name, your email address, your phone number, and you have to agree the terms of use. Then you can click at the download platform and download Atas. Meanwhile, we send you the credentials, which you should enter at the first screen. I will show you in a while, which is this, the login name and your first password. So after download, you just get to your download folder and double click the Atas platform installation file. Agree to the agreement, select the destination, select the version because we have beta, latest and stable version. I'm going for beta, clicking at next performing the installation. And launching the Atas platform. This is the window where you enter your credentials, which we send to you via email. So I entering my name and the password. Uh, you can choose the server you are going to connect. This is a server of Atas. I recommend using uh, Auto or you can use, for example, E2. I do not have any workspace yet because this is my first launch of the platform. So I'm leaving this to do not load any workspace and I'm clicking the connect button. This is the control panel of the Atas platform. And let's start with opening the first chart. Simply click at the chart, select the instrument, for example, NASDAQ, and this is the chart. If you want to change the instrument, simply click at its name in the upper left corner and select all instruments. For example, we are going to open the Dow Jones with the ticker YM. And as you can see, this is the mini size down continuous contract. I'm selecting it, clicking at OK, and the NASDAQ chart changed to Dow Jones. Here in the upper left corner is the button for selecting the time frame. 
If you click it, you see the predefined time frames, minutes, seconds, ticks, volume, and so on. So I'm clicking at, for example, H4, and here we have the four hour chart of Dow Jones. I can change the size I'm going to trade. By default, there's just one lot. This is the button for changing the chart type. This is the candles chart. I can switch it, for example, to bars, which you may have seen before, or for example, the line chart with a simple line. I'm getting back to the candles. This is the drawing object menu. I can drawing various objects, such as the horizontal line, for example, the, the rectangle like this, or use the Fibonacci retracement. This button is called the magnifier. We will be talking about this a little bit later. You will get into the zoom. You will zoom into the candle and see what's happening at the footprint, what's happening at the bit left and the ask right side. Then we have the indicators. We will be talking about them in a while. The crosshair, by default, you have this crosshair. You can switch it just to the pointer without the cross, or you can use the global global crosshair across all your charts. And finally, there's the templates button where you can use the predefined templates and snapshots. There's a slight difference between them. Snapshot is something like an advanced template with the time frame saved and also the drawings. Then we have the scale here, which is useful for the for the footprints and for the instruments with uh, lots of volatility, especially crypto. This is a very useful button making a screenshot. If you click it, a screenshot is being made and you can send it to your colleagues or friend just using this link or simply right clicking the picture and saving the image as or copying the image, for example. Then you can make the chart full screen, use the groups and get into the settings. There are lots of adjustments for the chart in this window. There are four tabs dedicated to visual settings for cluster settings, settings related to trading and the templates. So here you can change, for example, the color of the candles. Let's say I don't like the green color, so I can go for, for example, blue one, or I don't like the red color, I can switch it to orange one. I can also turn off the new session line, which are those uh, blue ones, by clicking here and selecting the transparent color. And all of a sudden, we don't have any separation of the sessions. It's really useful to get used to the hotkeys because they can save a lot of time. So if I press Control S, for example, I will open the chart settings immediately instead of going to this upper right menu, for example. And as well, I can open the indicators by clicking this icon, by right-clicking the chart and selecting the indicators or simply using the shortcut, Control I. I'm selecting the third option, pressing Control I, and I'm in the list of the indicators. Atas is really exceptional at uh, volumetric analysis. So you will find topics like bid and ask delta volume, useful indicators such as delta, cluster profiles and levels with uh, cluster search, for example, one of my favorite indicators. Commitment of trades, order flow indicators, those are obviously related to order flow. 
the other and then the technical indicators. These are the most common ones, such as moving average, ADX, Bollinger Bands, RSI, MACD and others. If you want to add an indicator to the chart, simply select it. Let's go for Bollinger Bands. By double clicking, you will move it into the selected indicators and here you can start adjusting it, such as the period. Instead of 10, I will select 20. And you can change also the colors, the drawing visualizations and so on. Now I'm closing the window with the indicators. I'm going to remove all of them by clicking at this X icon in the upper left corner. I'm removing also the volume profile on the left side and I'm going to remove all the drawings by going to the drawings menu and clicking delete all. Now we have a clean chart and I will show you how to get into the cluster chart. You can either use this menu and click at clusters or simply use your mouse wheel by zooming in and all of a sudden, as you can see, we got into the footprint chart. If you click, if you press and hold your Alt button, you will zoom by the Y axis. If you scroll your wheel, you will move at your X axis. And by pressing the mouse and dragging it, you will move across the footprint chart. You might have noticed that uh, there's a lot of predefined templates, so to say, for the cluster chart by volume. I can use the volume digital histogram and now I see the volume profile of each candle. This is the H4 candle and these are the high volume nodes and low volume nodes of this particular candle. I can click at trades and I can see the trades histogram, which is slightly different. The previous one was based on the volume at each particular level. And this is based on the trades at each level. I can click at bit ask and select, for example, bit ask delta colored. Now I see the, now I see something like a map with the negative and positive delta. Blue one are the areas with the positive delta, red ones are the areas with the negative delta. By clicking at delta, you will switch to the templates, footprint templates based on the delta profile. I can use, simp I can use the delta profile where I see the strength of the delta. There was a huge delta as you can see, minus 86. So that's the uh, long red row. And then there was quite a high positive delta, 78. So there's a long blue row. To get back to the candles, you can simply unzoom the chart or click at this menu candles. And I'm back in the candles. If you want to see the whole picture of the chart, simply click at this tiny F symbol and all of a sudden you see the entire chart again. There are very useful buttons at the bottom of the chart. Tom Trader gets you immediately into the heat map. You will start seeing the executed market and limit orders as well as the depth of the market. You can use this module for placing the orders as well by clicking the mouse below and above the price. Chart Trader is the improved module we implemented a while ago where you can place your orders, set your stop loss, take profit, use break even and set your trailing. We have a special video about this panel at our U YouTube channel so you can so you can dive much deeper if you are interested in using this panel.
Now let's get back to the control panel and talk about some advanced features. I'm going to prepare it here. Okay. So there are four tabs at the top of the control panel, learn, home, settings, and the license information. When you click at learn, you will get into a panel with some templates and the information sources. There's a getting started button with some basic videos. There's how to trade. There are articles and there are videos which will get you into the ATAS channel at YouTube. If you switch to different language, for example, German, this will get you into the ATAS channel in German language. There are templates. This is really useful if you want to start using some advanced features of our platform, such as the heat map, which is here, the cluster chart with the cluster statistic. This is the table at the bottom. This is the heat map with the cluster chart and another footprint, however, in the light mode, so to say. So this is really, really useful these templates. If you want to start using Smart Dome, for example, you have various templates here. Same for Smart Tape and for the positions. I'm getting back to the control panel and I will describe you the panel you will spend the most time at, most probably, which is the Home panel. By clicking the chart, you will open the predefined instruments or you can add or open the other ones. For example, if I want to open the natural gas, which is NG ticker, I can select it and by clicking at OK, opening it, or I can click at this star and get the natural gas continuous contract to the favorites. It's here at the bottom. If I trade it regularly, I can move it to the top of the list of the favorites. Then we have a watch list here, which is really, really useful. For example, if you trade some instruments regularly, let's say the natural gas, S&P 500 and the crude oil, I can create a watch list with the ticker, name of the instrument, last price, volume, and other useful pieces of the information. There's usually this tiny icon with a hammer, which are the settings, and you can adjust the basics of this window, such as the size, font size, row height, and so on. If you don't need all the columns, you just right click it and click at show column chooser. For example, I don't need the name because I'm familiar with the tickers. I don't need the volume, bit, best ask, best bit and ask quantity. And all of the sudden I have this really useful tiny window with my favorite instruments. If you click at this pin here, you will make this window topmost. So it will be floating about the other windows. Even though I get to this control panel, you see that the watch list is floating above the control panel. So this is useful if you work with this regularly, you don't need to switch back and forth. It's really always at the top of your screen. Then we have a smart dome. I will open, for example, S&P 500. And this is a tool for, let's say, rather advanced traders because it shows quite a few pieces of the information, such as the waiting order, the amount of the waiting order at the bit side. It's here in this column. The amount of the waiting orders at the ask side, then the changes of each column. This is the volume profile basically, and you can also place your orders through this window. So there's no need basically to open any chart. You can use this smart dome for placing the orders. Then we have a smart tape here, which is T and S, times and sales. You see time, price, 
and the amount of the contracts which were traded at this particular level. Another module is the Bidask tape, which is slightly adjusted times and sale window, I would say, because it's separated between bids and asks. We have a very useful article about this Bidask tape module, Bidask tape window, so I highly, highly recommend you reading it. You will see the amounts of the contracts traded at the bid side, at the spread, and at the ask side. This is a really beast. Highly recommendable to use and getting used to it. Then we have a news module here, which will show you the information from the RSS channel and other sources, such as the NASDAQ, order flow trading, and information about the crypto. By the way, you can always drag and drop this window and use this middle cross for placing this window either to the left or to the right. If I drag it to this left side, I will have the news window stick to the left side of my control panel, and I can certainly close it again. Economic calendar is really useful module because you will see all the macroeconomic news here. There are these red news, which are really important. There are the orange, which are less important, and the blue, which are the least important. Again, you can stick this window to your control panel and have it in front of you all the time. Then we have this alerts window, because you can set, a, set an alert to various objects, such as the lines or levels, and you will get the notification here at your control panel as well. You see what happened a while ago, so you can perform an action based on that. I'm closing these two windows. Then we have a follower manager here, which is a copier. You can have a master account, so to save, and a few slaves account, and you can mirror the trades between them. You can open the trade at your master account and have it mirrored to two, three, four accounts, whatever. Market replay is a feature we added just a while ago. You can use it for backtesting your strategies, train your entries and exits, and get back to the days where you had trouble with tradings, with trading, for example. Then there's the connection button where you set up your connection to your broker, to the prop firm you trade at, or to the other data feed, simply by clicking at the add button and selecting the connector you would like to use. Bear in mind that by default, there are no connections in the ATAS after the installation. So you have to set up, for example, Rhythmic or gain futures data feed before trading. You can use the trial for gain futures. For example, if you go to our website, to the Atas website, and the knowledge base, which is under resources and support center, you see that there's the possibility of arranging the gain futures demo. You will simply click at this link and you will fill simply information such as your first name, last name, day phone, and your email. By submitting, the, by submitting this information, you will get a 14-day trial for ATAS of uh, Gain Futures data feed. There's another possibility as well. If you search for Rhythmic Trial, you will get to a similar page. Yeah, it's here. I will paste the links to the description of this video. And after entering your information, you will get another data feed for 14 days for free. So this is really useful to use this possibility and get the real data for our platform. Finally, we are getting to the statistics, which is here. 
And you see that there's the statistic tab at the bottom of the screen. And this is an overview where you see your performance, your winning trades, losing trades, your average loss, average profit, and so on and so on. If you click here at this tiny arrow, you can download the data, the history of your trading, for example, from April the 1st to uh, this day, current day, I will select the accounts I am interested in, select all and the instrument. I will select all the instruments and I will load the history. Now the list history was loaded and I can click here at this tiny settings icon and export the statistics to Excel and then use it on the third party websites to analyze in depth my trading performance. So I mentioned these tabs at the bottom of the screen. There's the information about the server I'm connected to. This is the ATA server and about the feed sources. These are the data feed. As you can see, I have the simulation, which is the demo account, crypto data and crypto simulation, and my SBE connector. You will have here your Rhythmic, CQG, Gain Futures, or whatever you have set up before. You can move the tabs according to your needs, or you can simply pin this window to the control panel as well. For example, I will drag and drop it to this bottom part, and now I see my accounts all the time with my performance, with my balances, and so on and so on. So this is it. This is the home tab at the control panel, and we are getting to the settings. Workspaces is the place where you will save and load your workspaces to and from. Workspace is an independent space where you save all your chart, all your settings, and the informations aren't shared between them. So if you draw something at the workspace number one, it won't be visible at the workspace number two. We have a dedicated video to layouts, workspaces at our YouTube channel, so I highly recommend you to see it. You can create a workspace, for example, for crypto, for stocks, or for futures. Then we have the layouts here. You can create layouts within your workspace, for example, based on your instruments, because you have particular settings for each instrument and you can switch between them very easily. Then there are teams, you can switch between dark and light mode, and then there are sound settings. You can turn off some notifications, let's say, when you cancel your order. Hotkeys, I mentioned this before, by the way, we have a dedicated video to hotkeys as well at our YouTube channel. You can set up various hotkeys which will highly improve your performance and efficiency of the platform. Time zones, if you are in a different time zone, you can adjust the difference so that the chart shows the appropriate time. And finally, there's a tab with the common settings where you adjust, for example, the width of your value area. By default, we have 70%. You can change it to 68. You can change the rendering time based on your graphic card, GPU, and you can also change the backups and other stuff related to the platform. And this was it. We basically got to the end of this webinar. Thank you for your attendance and don't forget to subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.